Hey guys, it's Army Tricks from Game Tech, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple looking but professional logo for your YouTube channel or Facebook or whatever you're going to use it for. So, first of all, we're going to open up Photoshop or whatever program you'd like to use, create a new document that is of a square ratio. So, for this, we're going to do a thousand pixels by another thousand pixels to make sure it's square. Make sure the background contents is also transparent, but it's not too much of a problem if it's white. So now what we're going to do is find a good background. So find one online, something you'd like. I found this one, something simple, mainly one color with a small gradient would be the best thing you could probably get. Paste it in and move it to somewhere you'd like. By the way, if you want to know how to get these transform controls on Photoshop, tick this button over here while you're clicking it and make sure it's centered and however you like it to look so I wouldn't like it here I'd probably prefer it around here and then click out of it now we're gonna create a new layer by clicking down here and we're gonna find a good font to use so if you want a good font I'll leave a link to this website below which has a list of a hundred good fonts for logos so all of these are great because they're simple and stand out and are attracting to the user. So now we're going to go to the text tool, click on where you want it, and find a color that stands out from your background. I'm going to use neon green. Now use the font you've selected from here, make sure you've installed it, and you could abbreviate your name. So my YouTube channel name is Army Tricks, so I'm going to do an A and a T. So first I'm going to put a capital A and then I'm gonna hold shift and enlarge it to have a much I want Whoops. hold shift and enlarge I'll enlarge it to about that height I think that's pretty good and hit the tick to verify you want it that way now right click the layer with your text and hit duplicate and hit OK now go back to the text tool and replace this A with a T now move this T along so it looks something like that and now what you want to do is adjust the size of it to fit however you want so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger move it more to that side and possibly make it a bit smaller and while you're doing this make sure you hold shift as you resize as it keeps the ratio in proportion so something like that I'd say is perfect hit the tick now what we're going to do is go to the T, which is the second letter, go into blending options and reduce the opacity. So this will make the A stand out more from the T. So if we reduce the opacity to about this much, I think that should suit it fine. Now click both of these and hit Ctrl E to merge the two layers. Now you can move this to about the center, wherever you like really, and enlarge it to your needs think about that size would be good for me now you can go back into your merged layer go back to blending options and you can add whatever effects you'd like so you could add a stroke to make it stand out more an inner shadow to make it look like it's been engraved you could also add a color overlay to change it but I don't really see a point in that as you've already colored your text you could add a gradient such as that and make it less opaque, uh, uh, reduce the opacity of the gradient so it looks more like the color you've chosen. You can also add a pattern overlay and reduce the opacity of that to make the green show through. Or you could put an outer glow as well as a drop shadow to make it look like it's popping out a bit. So something like that. Then once you're done with those changes hit OK and now we're going to export this. So first go to file save as and save it as a photoshop document and hit save then what you're going to do is go back to file save as and find a png save it as a png as this normally saves it as something of a higher quality to jpeg and then hit save once you've done that you'll want to go to whatever website you want to put it on so for me it's going to be my channel on youtube and you just click on your logo and then hit upload. So that's it for my tutorial on how to create a simple and professional looking 
logo for your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, leave a like, and if it helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.